the main two. I just picked. Yeah. Oh. Shit, I know I said the last question before, but this is gonna yeah. be the last question. All right, your son has um, been compared to Roy Jones, Sugar Ray Leonard, Floyd Mayweather, right? Mm -hmm. uh, like, how do you see? Like, how did you make him up since you started him from scratch? Well, uh, when I started him, he was on uh, the right hand side. That's why the southpaw side is on that side. You know, because everybody start off with their right hand. And I let him, let him stay on that side. And I told him on that side, then I, later on down the line, we switched up and, and worked on uh, the orthodox side. You know what I mean? And that's how he got a little better. And, much, and then he watched me as he was younger, as watched his son, I mean his brother Pooh, and Farah. So he got all of us in one. You know what I mean? So, you know. And then back to uh, uh, Roy Jones and who else you say, Mayweather? Roy Jones, Mayweather, Ray Leonard. Ray Leonard? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's good. That's good to be uh, putting yourself in that position. You know what I mean? People talk about it like that. That's a beautiful position to be in. You know, you know the catamounts in, in that same position. You know what I mean? When you said he, he, um, he had some of you in him, what kind of fighter were you? Huh? What kind of fighter were you? Me? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm one of them guys that you, you, you see in there, hit, knock, get hit. You know what I mean? Box. You know what I mean? Everything was, you know, nice. Catch the shots, get out the way and shot. Stuff I teach them. You know what I mean? I, and I learned that on my own. You know, as I was coming up. Coming up. You, know you was mean? fighting like that in the streets? or? Well, I was a speed fighter, too. Speed, okay. Yeah, yeah, I was a speed fighter. Yeah. But I used to use one hand. That, that was my right hand. I couldn't use nothing else. Mm. You know what I mean? Then I went to the gym. That's why I went to the gym. Then I had to use my left hand. And that's why I put that shit together. And then that was all down south. You know what I mean? Now, you trained three of your sons. Do you felt like you got better over time? Because, you know, the, the training your first son, oh, yeah, it's yeah. like everything's a new experience. Yeah, you get better and better, and better each time. Each time, you, you know, you go up. And I've been, I've been around boxing so long, you know what I mean? And then, a lot, like I said, a lot of stuff I teach, a lot of, a lot of other fighters, I mean, trainers don't teach. You know, so, send somebody out there, just go get him, throw the jab, throw this in, and don't tell him how to do this, how to catch this, how to get out the way, how to set a shot up, you know, to go, you know what I mean, stuff like that, you know what I mean, and I, you know, you see me in the ring, I get in the ring and show them, you know, that I can yeah. do that, you know what I mean, you know, and that's why they believe in me, you know. Now, there are trainers that start fighters from scratch, there are trainers that get fighters, that's when they're already established, right. right? What do you What do you think makes an elite trainer? If you can do both? No, yeah, do both, man. You know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, the ones that you start from scratch, you develop on your own, and, and, and they become something. Uh, that's a plus. And then you got the guys that you didn't train from the beginning, but you add on. You know what I mean? You just add on. Add your stuff on to them and make them better. So that's a complete, you know, I, I, I figured that's a complete uh, train right there. Or, or, or a teacher, what I would say. Which one do you prefer? To get them from scratch? I, well, uh, you know what I mean? I prefer starting them off from scratch. Mm -hmm. But, you know, somebody come to me and they need help and they, they ain't going to, uh, they ain't getting the proper help from the other trainer and they left the other trainer or something like that. But what I do, I call their trainer up and find out what the situation is before I take them on. Take them on, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not the type of uh, trainer that will take another fighter without finding out what was wrong with you, your other trainer. You know, that's how I am. I have call him up or, or have him call me. And um, then I'll take it from there, you know. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Boozer. Yeah, you're welcome.